My name is Hanya and I'm a student ambassador with the Experiential Education Unit. And today I'm here with Jen Khanna to talk about her remote experiential learning opportunity. Hi everyone. So Jen Khanna, which remote experiential learning course did you participate in? So I'm currently a research intern at the Acquired Brain Injury Lab, which is at the University Health Network, and this is for Bio 400. So how would you describe your experience and what was your best accomplishment or takeaway? So in my remote internship, we're currently focusing our study on uh, primary central nervous system infections and how they affect cognition in adults, where I'm specifically focusing on interventional studies. So the experience really has been a lot different from what I'd expected it to be just because it is virtual. But the good thing is that I'm getting a lot of firsthand experience in terms of the virtual side of research, which can, which can involve things like quality assessments and screening abstracts for systematic reviews. I would say my biggest takeaway is just building really good relationships with my supervisor as well as my colleagues. And hopefully if all goes well, maybe I'll get to publish some of my work or just present my abstract at a conference. That's awesome. So do you have any advice for students who are considering enrolling in a remote experiential learning course? Yeah, for sure. I would say the biggest advice is to don't be afraid to ask questions just because, you know, that shows your supervisor that you're actively engaging in what you're doing. And it does sound a little cliche, but it's also the way that you can learn best. Thank you so much, Jan Khanna, for your advice. If you would like to learn more about experiential learning, please visit our Experiential Education Unit website.